Hey everyone, my name is Crystal. I am with Vintage Booth Pro. So I am creating a community for vintage booth owners, people like you and I that rent booths within antique stores, vintage stores, things like that to help us boost our monthly sales. So today I wanna to talk about um, my sales for September 2022, um, but I do want to announce that I have launched our Facebook group uh, and I am outrageously excited for it. I do want to request a little patience because it is going to be a little bit for me to actually build it up, get all the graphics and the right links in place and all the things that are in my head that I am so excited about that I want to include in the community. But you can get started um, today and starting tonight at 7 p.m. is when uh, my store closes and sometime between 7 and 8 I usually get an email telling me what has been sold that day. Um, so starting tonight, I will start posting daily um, sales. So everyone in the community is welcome to start posting as well. Um, it is a paid community. So I've started off with just $5 a month. I know that I just want to make it so easy for a lot of people to join. Um, and that's $5 is my goal for this community is that you will make so much more than $5. Your sales will increase. It's not guaranteed, but um, we will put so much value into this group for you that you will get a lot more out of it than just um, $5 a month. Um, moving forward, I can envision see adding more tiers. Um, so, you know, if you want to be featured on a YouTube video or something like that, um, you know, then we'll, we'll upgrade the tiers. But for right now, I'm in the building mode. I want as many people to join as possible. And so for $5 a month, you have access to this community that is on Facebook. I will start um, adding emails. Um, so anything that is created for the group will be emailed to you. And I think we can also do it on Patreon. So it is at patreon.com is where you will get started. It's patreon.com slash vintage booth pro. So I will include all the links below. And like I said, starting today, October 4th, it is just getting started. So a lot of, a lot of exciting things happening. And I really hope everyone that is able to starts um, and um, gets involved in the community. Okay, so let's get into my booth sales for September 2022. And do you like my little macrame skeleton guy? I picked this up for $1 at a church um, thrift store. I've had it in um, storage forever, planning on putting it in my booth, and I pulled it out of um, storage, and my family's like, we love it. And I love anything macrame, so of course I was like, we're going to keep it. Um, so I hope you don't mind that he's in the background kind of watching us. Um, but I want to start off with the biggest, um, the highest sales and go to the lowest. Um, and the biggest one I have, um, thank goodness, because my sales were only average. And this is the first real month that I've had two booths. So instead of my rent being 216 for the bigger booth, I added 216 plus 144 for a total of 360 per month. So yeah, I'm a little like stressed about getting uh, my booth sales up, um, but I am working really hard to get it filled up because it's really not filled up right now. I, I just don't have enough stuff to put in there yet. So anyways, let's get to the sales. Uh, my biggest one was this beautiful desk. And this was purely by chance that I found this at Goodwill. They were bringing it out onto the floor. Another lady was looking at it and she decided not to get it. And so I grabbed it because it was only $25 and it was by West Elm. So West Elm is obviously a higher end brand. Um, and it's still for sale actually on their website over for over $500. I forget exactly how much. So this was in great condition. I, I think I had it listed for 300, but decided to move it down to 250. I posted this on Facebook, um, offer up, next door, everywhere, uh, even Craigslist. Um, and within a couple days, it sold. So super happy about that. Sold on the third of the month. So um, that really helped ease my tension about having the expanded booth. Um, this velvet chair sold, and this was one that I talk about this freebie app 
that you have to like be watching your phone and when a notification comes up you look at it and you respond like you have to respond immediately um <laughs> and i just so happened to get this because somebody else was going to take too long to pick it up and i was super close i was like i can drop what i'm doing and come right now and this velvet chair i probably should have asked for more but i kind of felt bad when you get it for free you know um but i got it for free sold for 45 dollars so this little display cabinet um, has been in my booth forever. I think I paid about $15 or $20 for it. It's an Ethan Allen uh, and it sold for $40. Now this uh, blanket, this kind of fall uh, chevron uh, boho type blanket, I was testing doing some wholesale type things and this is one that I got. And it was in my booth last fall, it didn't sell, and finally sold for $31.50. Now one interesting thing about the new um, antique store owners in the, in the location that I'm in, I thought that they did away with the 10% off because previously you could walk in and say, um, you know, I like you guys on Facebook, so they'll automatically give you 10% um, off. Um, I was told that that had gone away, but there are a couple of items in my um, sales list that have that 10% off. So I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm happy for the sale. So I think I bought this blanket for around 10 and it sold for $31.50. Um, this elephant bookends, I got in a lot from an online auction and uh, they're super nice. A lot of them listed on eBay and I thought about putting them on eBay, but they're very heavy. So I did not want to list, I did not want to ship them. Um, got them for about a dollar and they sold for 30. Something I made sold and that is just like the happiest <laughs> moment when somebody actually likes something you sold. Um, it's this um, witch's broom. So I made a couple of them. I actually made an idea pin on Pinterest on how to do it just because it's just so fun uh, for this holiday spooky season. I think the materials were about $8 and it sold for 25 this beautiful macrame piece that I picked up when an antique store was going out of business. I bought it for around seven and it sold for $20 and that has been to my booth forever. So this beautiful Vernon Ware tray picked up for $3 and it sold for 18. Now this two tiered tray, um, kind of a goldish looking, I think I paid about $4 for it. And it sold almost immediately um, in my booth for $16. Oh, Squishmallows. My kids are obsessed with these little stuffed animals that are just super soft. I find them occasionally at the thrift store, not very often. And when I do, my kids claim them. Um, but this one I was able to hide away long enough for them, uh, from them to actually put it in the, um, <laughs> in the booth. So I paid about a dollar. Um, I think it's like a dollar eleven now actually at Goodwill for these stuffed animals um, and someone bought it for 15. Okay, um, an egg server plate from my aunt's estate. Um, got it for free um, and sold for 15. Okay, these two prints coming up, I'm so excited about. We had so much fun with them at home. Probably should have kept them because we just liked them. Um, but uh, they look like skeletons, but they're actually um, prints of people eating and one lady looking at her self in the mirror. Um, I picked these up at one of the most fun estate sales I've ever been to, and I think they were $2 for, for both of them, including the frame, but they didn't fit in the frame. So I went to Hobby Lobby and just bought kind of the cheapest frame that would fit that size. And so it was about $7 each um, for them. And I only put $15 each on them. I probably should have done more, uh, especially because I wanted to keep them. Um, but they sold fairly quickly. This owl that has been in my booth, it was in the booth last fall. I think I paid around five uh, and it sold for 12. I'm always on the search for vintage, Halloween, anything vintage um, holiday stuff, but I found this cute little um, vintage pumpkin basket and my plan was to put candy in it and you know give candy out for free do you guys do that in your booth just have something for, fun for kids to grab um i got it for about a dollar at goodwill and it sold for 12. 
I made this sign and it's another thing that you never know if something you make is gonna sell. So I bought it at Dollar Tree for $5, which sounds so funny to say, um, but you know, they have the upgraded row, row at Dollar Tree now that everything's three or $5. Um, did some painting and upgrading to it and it sold for $12. This brass pitcher, I bought for $2 and it sold for 12. This black clock, ugh was so beautiful. I don't remember what, I think it was a red, I think it was red before and I painted it black, broke the container, the glass, you know, protector of the clock and just the battery wouldn't stay. It was just a mess. So I was so happy that it sold for $12. Um, I probably, after all the work and pain that I put in, I don't know, I bought it for about four, but everything I put into it, I probably lost money. Okay, this cauldron is another thing that I made. Um, it was on clearance at Michael's. You know how they do like the 80% off. Um, it was a spring thing. And so I just added some letters to it and made it look like a little witch's cauldron. Um, it sold for $12. And this little Frankenstein, I don't know if you've seen this Frankenstein print. Um, kind of, I've seen him a lot on Pinterest and I just printed him out at CVS and added him into a, a frame for my stash and sold for $8 almost immediately. That was really fun. Um, Ray Dunn, so these mugs, I bought a ton of them just randomly one day at Goodwill. They were all 89 cents. I mean, they, it was, I, I couldn't say no to them. You know, I wasn't even sure how well they would sell, but they were almost brand new. Um, great condition and I just liked them anyways even if they didn't sell I would keep them or give them out to friends and family and so one sold for eight dollars so these pumpkins are just old ones from my stash from Dollar Tree they might have even been an actual dollar from back in the day when Dollar Tree was just a dollar um, I painted them with some silver spray paint that I had and sold them for two dollars each not a great markup but Hey, it is what it is. I was kind of just using them as booth decor, um, but they sold. Um, this uh, a scarf, I'm not actually sure which one sold. I pick up scarves for less than a dollar and this one sold for five. This tin was either 89 cents or a dollar. It's sunflower tin and it sold for four. Okay, and I had this owl from Dollar Tree that I had just put in I don't know, something just to decorate the booth, and it, I had a dollar on it, so it sold for a dollar. Um, now, my extra smalls that I used to talk about a lot, the stickers um, and crock charms. I So I did a video a while back about things that I put in my booth that are less than $5 that will help boost your booth sales, and um, stickers are still selling well for me. It's a little bit slower than it used to be, but it's still a great addition to my booth. This month I saw $27 of stickers. So I still have them a dollar each and the more you buy, the bigger discount you get, that sort of thing. And the same with croc charms. So the people up front have no idea what these are. So I've, I've tried to include signs and you know, just it's written on the label that they are not magnets. They are not whatever they think they are. They're little um, charms. I think they're, the actual name is called gibbets that you, that kids put in their crocs and the croc shoes that have the little holes in them. My kids go through them like crazy. Um, yeah, so, and of course I love just to steal them from me and decorate with their shoes. The ones that I bought on Amazon aren't the best quality, but I don't feel bad selling them for two for $5. And so I sold $20 worth of croc charms. And then I had some candles that I ordered from Amazon black candles and so that was strictly for Halloween just for the display and I got a ton of them like uh, 14 for $14 and so they're a dollar each is what I paid for them I'm selling them for two dollars and so I sold um, eight dollars worth of candles so um, that is pretty much it oh let me get to the review okay so that is 39 items total um, $731 in revenue. My rent is $144 for my extended booth and my original booth is 216. 
I have not gone to the store to pick up the um, the paper that actually shows the details like the credit card fee, but I do know that it's 10% commission. So 7310 is the commission on that. I assume the credit card fee is around 20 bucks. And my cost of goods uh, for everything that's sold was $133.30. So with a profit of about $165. Not that great for um, you know starting a business and wanting to actually make something of this business, but that's where I think the group will come in. If we're boosting each other's posts and Facebook Marketplace listings, um, I think that's gonna make a huge difference, not just for me, but for everyone else. So for example, I have these two beautiful houndstooth chairs that I thought would sell just like that. I marked them probably too high, but I was really hoping to get them um, sold within the month. I only had one sell over $100. So that is gonna be my journey moving forward is finding more items that I can sell for over $100. I have plenty of things listed in my, or in my booth right now that are over $100, but um, only one thing sold. So um, that's something we can work on together. You know, what are you sourcing that will sell quickly? What um, do we need to reduce the price of? And do you, are, do you have things priced too low? So like I said, the group is open. It is not active. It will be active very soon, but you can start joining today. Patreon.com slash Vintage Booth Pro. And please give me patience as I'm trying to work out all the kinks and get everything going so we can have a very thriving community that I'm so nervous and excited about. So thank you so much for watching and I would love to know how your um, monthly booth sales were for September. Let me know in the comments. Thanks. I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.